Hi guys. So we have this problem under simple harmonic motion and the question is a block is kept on a horizontal table and the table is undergoing simple harmonic motion with a frequency of 3 hertz. Then uh, since it's on the horizontal plane we're going to see uh, the fact that it will have friction force because it was on a surface. So because of that we've been given the coefficient of static friction uh, which is 0 0.72. That is the coefficient of static friction between the block and the surface. So what we're supposed to calculate is uh, the maximum amplitude of the table at which the block does not slip on the surface. Okay, so let's see how we can break down this question. Okay, so we can see that the only thing that we've been given in this case is um, the coefficient of friction, which is 0 0.72, as well as um, the frequency f which is three heads like this. And what we're looking for in this state, in this case is the amplitude. So considering the question, we are saying that we have a, a, a surface like this one. And on this surface, we have an object. So this object we have, on this object, there's a force acting in this direction, which will just point for F. Then there's another force which is opposing its motion. This force will be the friction force. We have another force going down, this will be the gravitational force. We have another force going up. This will be the normal force. So these are the four forces acting on this object. So since it's uh, it's at a point where it's about to slip, we're going to say, uh, we're going to apply Newton's third law of motion, which says that for every action, there's an, a reaction which is equal but opposite. So we can start by saying, the friction force in this case is equals to the applied force F. Now we know that friction force is given by the formula mu multiplied by the normal force. Applied force, which is just F, is given by mass times acceleration. So if you look at our normal force, it's pointing in the upward direction, while acceleration, um, the weight force is pointing in the opposite direction, meaning that the normal force is equal to the weight force. So since they are the same, the normal force is also mg. So here we have mu mg, which is equals to ma. We divide both sides by mass. So divide by mass. Mass cancels. So what we have? We have a is equals to mu multiplied by g. So we are at this point. Now at this point, it's important to note that um, the maximum acceleration, uh, let's write it like this, the maximum acceleration is given by amplitude omega squared. And the formula for omega, we can use two of them, either the one for period or the one for frequency. Since we've been given frequency, we're going to say omega is equals to two pi frequency. So these are the two formulas that we're going to incorporate with this so that we can find the amplitude. So here where there's acceleration, we're going to substitute it with amplitude and omega squared. So this is what we get. Acceleration will have amplitude, omega squared, everything is equal to mu g. Then here where there's um, omega, we're going to substitute it with 2 pi frequency. So what we get will be, so the first thing we can do first of all, we can say a is equal to mu g multiplied by omega squared, like that. Then let's just bring it here. Amplitude is equals to mu g over, now omega, we have 2 pi, 2 pi frequency, but everything is a square. So we have that. So our amplitude will be given by mu g divided by 4 pi squared frequency squared. We consider multiplying everything in the bracket with, uh, we consider squaring everything. Then at this stage, it's just a matter of substituting where we have A is equals to our mu is that value that we have there, which is 0 0.72 multiplied by acceleration due to gravity is 9.81. And everything is over 4 pi squared multiplied by frequency squared. Our frequency is 3, so just multiplying it with a 9 like that. So if we multiply everything that we have here, what we're going to get will be 0 0.02.
so we get 0 0.02 now since this is amplitude then this is in meters now 0 0.02 is just the same as two centimeters so it's okay if you leave your answer there or if you have your answer like that either way it's okay so that's how we compute the amplitude